my dear students and viewers welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about um, ligamentum flavum and now in this session we are going to discuss about intertransverse ligament this intertransverse ligament is one of the ligament which is considered under intrasegmental ligamentous system of the spine okay now from where to where uh, this intertransverse ligament uh, fibers are going to attached so i have already mentioned that this is an intrasegmental ligament that means the ligament which is present within the mobile segment or um, in between the two adjacent vertebrae the name itself indicates that the ligament which is present inter means in between the transverse processes of the two adjacent vertebrae so these are the transverse processes of the two adjacent vertebrae and the fibers are attaching the uh, tips of the transverse processes of uh, above superior adjacent vertebrae with that of the inferior adjacent vertebrae so this is the intertransverse ligaments and here also you can find the intertransverse ligament the fibers are attaching uh, the transverse processes of the adjacent two vertebrae okay yes and if you see um these ligaments which are passing between the transverse processes and these fibers are also attached to the deep muscles of the back in the cervical region so in the case of cervical region the intertransverse ligaments Uh, shows um, some scattered fibers okay only few fibers of the ligaments are found and those are replaced by the uh, intertransverse muscles in the cervical region okay in the case of um, thoracic region so in the case of thoracic region so the intertransverse um, ligaments are like uh, fibrous cords and uh, these fibrous cords are also uh, blending or attached with the adjacent muscles okay the intertransverse ligaments become thin and membranous in the lumbar region okay so the membranous fibers of the forms part of the thoracolumbar fascia okay in the lumbar region okay so this is about the attachment of the intertransverse ligament now we will see the function of the intertransverse ligament yes so here the intertransverse ligament we can find here on the both the sides so this is um, a right side and this one is a left side we are observing this on the posterior aspect okay so normally these ligaments this is a a pair of ligaments okay these intertransverse ligaments are also paired ligaments like uh, ligamentum flavum okay so the function we can observe during a lateral bending so lateral bending so the lateral bending occurs on both left side as well as a right side what will happen uh, if the lateral bending is occurring on the left side so the left side intertransverse um, ligament is going to 
compress these are going to compress whereas on the right side uh, the fibers are going to stretch okay so during lateral bending we can find on the same side of the lateral bending the fibers are going to compress on the other side that is on the contralateral side the fibers are going to stretch if you see if the lateral bending is on the right side what will happen so the fibers which are located on the right side are going to compress okay on and the left side are going to stretch so this is the thing happening okay um, on the uh, this is the thing happening during lateral bending okay so uh, these are the things which are going to uh, happening in the lateral bending and on the right side if, for example if you take uh, the lateral bending on the left side here the lig the ligament which is going to stretch okay this one is not only stretching this one is also offering some resistance to the motion that means it limits so the right side intertransverse ligament is going to limit the left side lateral bending the same thing is also happening on the right side lateral bending um, the left side uh, intertransverse ligament is going to limit the a right side lateral bending okay so these are all the functions of the intertransverse ligaments thank you in the next session we are going to discuss about the interspinous ligament